So we tell you today we're going to go over this last assignment, uh, introducing second declension noun endings uh, as a recap. We've already learned the first declension, um, the nominative singular and plural used for the subject of the sentence, and the accusative singular and plural used for the direct object of a sentence. Okay, and then typically first declension nouns are feminine. All right, second declension. Okay, second declension has two different nominative singulars, uh, more common U.S., uh, but some words like the word for man and boy end in R, but they all end in I in the nominative plural. Uh, accusative singular, U-M, and accusative plural, O-S. All right, and then we typically use the second declension for masculine nouns. Okay, so translating into English. All right, so number one starts with the subject, the boy terrifies the girl. Number two, a question. Questions are always tough. So the verb ends in S, which we learned in chapter one means you. So do you see, and then agram is a new vocab word for field. Do you see the field? Or are you seeing the field? Okay, number three, uh, me, I, filii, my sons, it's plural, my sons do not have money. My sons do not have money. All right, number four, both these words are nominative singular, and this is an adjective. So the adjectives will usually end in U.S., but the word for boy doesn't get that ending. It just gets this R. So the Roman boy is greedy. The Roman boy is greedy. Number five, um, that just R should jump out to you as the subject. The man calls... Oops. The man calls the woman. Okay, accusative singular. The man calls the woman. Okay, number six. Uh, first word is accusative, so we do not want to start with that. Um, we want to look at the verb. And so the verb ends in M-U-S, which should translate as we. So we terrify the men. We terrify the men. Number seven, uh, the farmers. That's your subject. It's plural. And then your verb, have. And then these two words go together. All right, you can see by the OS. And as I've said before, if you can tell two words go together, it's sometimes helpful to put parentheses around them. So you can kind of visualize the sentence. But the farmers have many fields. The farmers have many fields. Okay, number eight. The boy subject gives a rose. The boy gives or is giving a rose. And number nine, in my country, in my country, we have greedy men. Okay, so this is what's called a prepositional phrase. In is a preposition. They're usually just two letter words in Latin. Um, and we don't know what this A with a long mark is yet. Um, but what it is, is it's called the ablative singular. It's a different noun ending that we will formally take a look at, but it's used with prepositions. So in my country, we have greedy men. All right, number 10, my son does not have, and then wisdom. A lot of you said my son has no wisdom. That would look a little bit different. Um, you want to make more the verb negative and say it doesn't have or does not have wisdom. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, walite.